Yeah, Pat Fitzgerald resurrected Northwestern Wildcat football, put them in a bowl, I think, five different times. Last two years have not been good. It's a very different institution to recruit to because it's such a highly uh, accoladed academic institution. Uh, they got a problem from within. They kept it secret from within. There was a lot of hazing going on over about a five-year period. 11 players, young players who got hazed constantly in their first couple of two years on the Evanston campus finally went public. Uh, now, now, the big issue is who knew what and why didn't they do anything about it? Fitzgerald said, I did not know. Come on now. Most coaches know everything about everything. Uh, the assistant coaches had to know that some of this junk was going on. And then it got public. A player went to the president of the university and the president was slow to react. And the player then eventually went to the media. Mm. And that thing then took off like an oil fire. Uh, 11 different players now confirm that they were physically harassed, sexually abused in this long-term hazing thing. And Pat Fitzgerald has got a great track record there uh, with the exception of the last two years. Pat Fitzgerald said, I did not know. And the president, who was aghast when the, the number be, went from one to 11 players who were abused, uh, the president said, you're responsible for the culture of the Northwestern football program. Yeah. You are responsible for everything that goes on on that program. Don't tell me you did not know. And he fired him on the spot. And now there's going to be a some type of termination lawsuit. I think Fitzgerald is, is going to file against the university. And this comes on the heels of about a year and a half ago at the University of Iowa. And they had all kinds of issues with an on-campus investigation of racial overtones, head coach, assistant coach, to African-American players at Iowa. Somehow that coaching staff kept its job and did not get fired, which absolutely shocked me. Hayden Fry must be spinning in his grave that this was allowed to happen where he had built such a great program. Uh, but but obviously it's just, there's culture junk that's going on at some of these universities, which is, is not good. You know, And this comes on the heels of the mess at Michigan State with Dr. Larry Nasser and the sexual assault of female students that he was advising and giving physical exams to. And of course, the story with Nasser getting stabbed 10 times in prison this past weekend. So but Big Ten's got some culture issues off the field. Yeah, this is a tough story, you know, and yeah, to your point, Northwestern is a very prestigious academic institution, and they've always kind of been on the bottom half of that Big Ten, and they've been pretty good lately. So this coach has done a good job. But I'll, I'll say this, and, and this, I don't I can't remember what the exact quote is, but you know, people can be individually smart. When you put them in a group, then stupid things happen. And hazing is one of those things. I mean, like speaking for myself, I was in a fraternity, and, you know, they, you hear talk about hazing was, oh, that they did that a long time ago, but it still goes on. And when you get a bunch of guys together, you know, they got hazed when they were a freshman, a pledge, a rookie. Then they just continue the tradition because they think that, OK, now it's my turn to be the tough guy on the new the new uh, newbie. Um, so, yeah, it's up to the coach to establish a culture because I bet you John Wooden didn't have any hazing going on with UCLA basketball. Yep. It's a really ugly story. We have not heard the end of that story. On we